Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Fire Signs, welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 27th of October, the moon in Virgo is in opposition to Saturn in Pisces. The moon is fall in Virgo, leading to a more restrained and meticulous approach to emotional matters. Virgo's analytical nature can cause emotional distance or self-criticism. This opposition may highlight a conflict between emotional duties, creating emotional tension. On the 28th, Venus in Sagittarius squares Saturn in Pisces. Saturn is in detriment in Pisces, making it less effective and it's unable to maintain boundaries and structure. This square creates a tug of war between Venus's desire for freedom and Saturn's call for responsibilities, which may bring obstacles in relationships or financial matters. On the 29th, the moon enters Libra. During this transit, emotional exchanges become more focused on fairness and harmony creating equilibrium in partnerships and social settings. On the 30th, the moon in Scorpio is in opposition to Uranus in Taurus. Uranus is in its fall in Taurus. As, as Taurus's steady and predictable nature conflicts with Uranus's disruptive and sudden, sudden change in your tendencies. This opposition may bring surprising news, sudden insights or disruptions in communication, particularly in financial or personal matters. On the 31st, Mercury in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces. Neptune is in its domicile in Pisces, meaning its ethereal and imaginative qualities are heightened, bringing deep spiritual and creative energies. This trine focuses on a sense of intuitive understanding and emotional depth in conversations, making it an excellent time for creative or spiritual work. On the 1st of November, the new moon in Scorpio. The new moon is in fall in Scorpio, where emotions tend to be intense, private and transformative. This new moon signifies a time for emotional renewal, shedding old emotional baggage and focusing on personal empowerment. Please watch my comprehensive video on the new moon in Scorpio. On the second, Mercury enters Sagittarius for about three weeks. Mercury is in detriment in Sagittarius as its, as its desires for detail and precision precision clashes with Sagittarius's broad and philosophical approach. Communication may become more idealistic or expansive, but the focus may lack specifics or practicality. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Mika wave! Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Fire Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your messages for the next seven days. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. Oh, we have the element of a five, darling dears. 
Mm -hmm. Whenever we see the five, it speaks about conflict to confusion, darling dears, which brings about that lovely C word, change. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. Okay. The energy of the five, according to the low shoe grid, it's in the center of the grid, darling dears. This is your good fortune center. Mm -hmm. Representative of the earth elements, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And it's the colors of yellow and um, earth tones are for you over the next seven days, darling dears. Your good fortune center. I love it. I don't hate it. And it's earth tone. So this is going to be about um, the material aspects of your life, your career, your finance, um, business, um, your possessions, darling dears. We're going to dig right in there. Okay. We have the element of the one. The energy of the one is a reminder that you have a major decision to make. Don't make that major decision until after the next new moon, which will be on the 1st of November in scorpio i've already put out that reading go and watch it darling dears to see how you're going to be affected what house it affects for you darling dears okay the energy of the one also reminds us of the first house darling dears so some of you could be taking the initiative and stepping into what what could be a fresh start a new beginning maybe you're changing your appearance it's got something to do with your early childhood and possibly your fifth child if you have five children darling dears or you may be the fifth child in this family mm -hmm. it's also a reminder to be careful because um mars and aries it rules accidents darling dears accidents okay and um oh, sorry i'm rubbing my eye i really had to rub it out because it was really rubbing me <laughs> um you have to be careful with aries because it's it covers the whole of your head um your genitalia um, your blood, your buttocks, um, the, the, what can I say to make it sound correct? The, the, the things that come out of the genitalia, darling dears, and the vomit as well, the bile. Be very careful around these areas. Okay. All right. We also have the element of the four. The four is also reminded to protect yourself emotionally. The fourth house, darling dears. Yes, it's about your inner emotional security. So somebody's going to try and test your gangster possibly over some money, darling dears. Good golly. And the gosh, darling dears. We've got two twos on the top. Um, The element of the two. As I said, we already know what the four means. The four is about your home life, right? Somebody's trying to test your gangster about that. But this is going to be an extremely lucky period for you as well. Um, The right person or people turning up at the right time. You'll be getting gifts. You'll be getting compliments. Mm -hmm. For some, this could also represent a possible win on money. If you're gambling, only gamble what you can afford to lose. Okay, but any form of travel, business or for recreational is going to be fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. It's also a time where you need to start broadening your horizons in a sense of meditating, reading, uplifting books, darling dears, pouring back into yourself. Why? You've got the element of the one. Think of yourself first. Mm -hmm. And on the side of the deck, we've got four. And the one, darling, dear. So we got five, five, baby. <laughs> Whenever we see the five, five, darling, dear, change is afoot, right? You're about to change up your routine, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're doing some kind of a project or a venture. A change is definitely in the wind for that. Mm -hmm. But the main thing, when we see the 55, you have to start putting yourself first in every situation. Remember, I told you that. Okay. Let's press on. Let's press on. We're going to get the outside oracle ancestral message. We're going to go with the soul cards. Surrender to a process, darling dears. Or maybe somebody's got surrender up their DNA. Listen, it's all popping off, darling dears. It's all popping off. And again, it's telling you to remain grounded because change is definitely afoot. It could be somebody having to surrender their DNA so they can pay the child support. 
Mm -hmm. This and that, darling dears. It says, I can release my need to control. The only thing you can control on this Malkuth, darling dears, on this Malkuth, is yourself. Not even your progenies. Your progenies will only be responsible to you while they're young, while they can't do things for themselves. When they get older, listen, they change into a whole different ball game, guys. A whole different ball game. Remember, I told you that. As I said, you can only control yourself, darling. There's no one else. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. Yeah, because somebody's coming up for judgment. Whenever we see the judgment, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, that's basically telling people what? Two of these and one of those. I mean, love and light. Somebody's about to get the offing, darling. There's where they've got to go and they can't come back. Mm -hmm. There'll be no time traveling heifers in your hemisphere over the next seven days. The energy of the judgment card, darling, dears. It's always about some kind of transformation. As I said, changes afoot. Energy of the five, right? Some kind of transformation is going on in your life. It's about self-evaluation, understanding yourself more. Mm -hmm. And this transformation is happening right now. Energy of the judgment card. Okay. To the decks. Oh, I didn't tell you. You could be a life path five, darling, dears. Or the numbers... 5, 14 or 23, as well as the numbers um, 1, 5 and 7 will be on your hemisphere over the next seven days, darling dears. The energy of the 5 is ruled by Mercury and Mercury rules Gemini and um, Virgo. So a lot of communication going and coming. It could be something to do with because Virgo is also about your health, darling dears. As I said, take care of yourself over the next seven days it's just like that film do you remember that film from a long time ago called death becomes her listen that's one of my old faves darling dears where these two women got this this special this special elixir of life where they could live forever but they have to take care of their bodies and good golly and gosh they took us through some things anyhow yeah let's press on let's press on all right let's go to the decks let's get a deck <coughs> The decks are hiding from me. Okay. Mm. We've got the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, darling dears. The good, the golly, and the gosh. Mm-hmm. I don't like these cards. Some of them are a bit rude. I'm gonna change them for another deck, darling dears. I did I did take the time to take out the bits, but it still looks too it looks too much. It's too much, darling dears. It's too much. Right, I'm going to, you know what, I'm not going to wait till later. Put them right in the dustbin. Remember, once you've passed judgment on a situation, we don't go back, not for nothing, not for, not for your trainers, right? Not for that handbag, nothing. You've already given your final assessment of a certain situation. Let it go immediately, as I depicted with the cards. All right. So let us know what's going on for you over the next seven days. Bear tower moments, darling. There's people coming to the realisation, or it could be you coming to the realisation that something is definitely under judgment and it's over for you, darling. There's the tower moment is always something that is sudden and unexpected. It could be the divorce. Um, somebody may even be threatening to unalive themselves if you don't come back. It speaks about lots of arguments going on. Definitely some kind of crisis in a relationship. Um, possibly having to separate a relationship mm -hmm. because this means a breakup darling dears it's not working this is you suddenly thinking i ain't working here no more i'm just giving up on your job darling dears but definitely the tower moment is here for you to pay attention yeah yeah because something was done in the dark darling dears yeah and it's about to come to light king of wands you're about to drop that burden darling dears whatever it is everybody's everybody's circumstance is different their paradigms are different if you want something more personal hit me up in the gmail at frequency phoenix 555 at gmail.com clarify the tower moment please thank you oh high priestess energy darling dears so it's a situation that you've been, that you've been mulling over for some time darling dears yeah, this goes no further. Somebody's definitely leaving a job or a relationship. And then whoever, whoever, whoever the lefty is behind, they thought that you would put up with it forever. <laughs> ah, 
child. A lot of people like to take the best. There's no healing in this situation. In the upright, this is someone coming towards you pretending to be a benefactor. In the reverse, they are fugazi, darling dears. As as bent as a nine pound note. Mm -hmm. Definitely a situation where there's no healing, darling dears. High priestess, you've got to put yourself first. This is you going within and again, balancing out and broadening your horizons over the next seven days. Look! You're leaving them behind. You're leaving them behind me. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put up a bit, darling dears. See with that old clickaroo off, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You know you're worth an added tax. It could also be you leaving a situation as a mother with mothers. But it's the best decision you ever made. This block party is standing your ground, even if your voice is shaking. It could be with a job. It could be with a pers in a personal situation. But the main thing is that you're leaving and you ain't coming back. Not for all the tea in China. Yeah, page of ones is definitely about your work. and But as I said, it could be a sexual relationship that you're leaving behind. Yeah, the devil's most diligent worker. You're not going back, darling dears. Somebody who hasn't faced their shadow side. We've got the king of pentacles on his face. Somebody who's very tight with money. They like to take risks. Um, they're a gossip, a gambler. This is somebody who is a narcissist, darling dears. Yeah, you're not going any further. So with a job or a relationship, it's over. I'm trying to be as compassionate as I can, but I listen. I just come with the messages. I'm a pointer, not a picker. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving a job and a relationship behind, darling dears. One or the other. Look. And this is justice, darling dears. This is a karma card in the upright. The decision that you've made to leave a relationship or a job is the right decision for you, darling dears. Nothing good would come from this situation. It's affecting your mental health. It's affecting your, your physical health, darling dears. And you're not even... Be, and in, if it's in relationship, there's no money coming into the situation. It's not... There's no room for growth. That's a better word for the situation. If it's a job, listen. If you get sick on the job, darling dears, they'll replace you before you can say, what's going on? I'll be back. No, bud. Mm -mm. Your health comes first. Make the choices that are best for you going forward. Six of Cups, you'll get six of Cups means you'll get new opportunities, darling dears. But you're at a point where you have to surrender and release what no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. Let's get one final card because you love the Kipper so much. We're gonna go, are we gonna go? Yes, we're going to Kipper. Final card, yeah, mature person, darling dears. The whole world in your hands, and it's a five again. So we've got five, five, fives on the tableau, darling dears. Hold on to your party hat. Right, because life is about to speed up for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Whatever your routine previously was, right, it's about to change in a major way. Remember, I told you that this is also representative of um one of my god cards on the Kipper deck, darling dears, telling you that there's a wider world out there, there's newer things for you to learn, more new things for you to learn. The energy of the five is also representative of a queen cuts. Um, in astrology, a queen cucks is about um, some situation that was extremely stressful. Well, guess what? The quick change is here. And again, the five is ruled by Mercury. Your communication is going to be up. So there's going to be a lot of backwards and forwards of communication, planning your next move, darling dears. But you have all the information and the skill to make a better world for yourself. On that note, I drops me mic. To love to my Teesprings, my Patreon on my TikToks, where I also upload videos. Thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel. If you'd like a personal reading or any of the charts, please hit me up in the Gmail at FrequencyPhoenix555 at gmail.com. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius, big a wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. <laughs>